Hello, everybody. Aaron here, and I'm with Lillian. Hey, guys. And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. There is a, a field guide page that I haven't picked up here. <laughs> tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy, foolish bar Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the art had he succeeded. Yeah. Okay, we're going to enter the room of requirement and talk to Deke. Sounds good. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Um, can I identify my gear first? Yeah, we've got... So, just off screen, we've uh, did a lot of grinding. Yeah. Just, Some oh, of thank heavens, things. all of my cutting boards all have Mellow Sweet almost. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm to the point where I'm out of Mellow Sweet right now, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, just for quick reference, uh, I'm just going to hop into things. Um, as you can see, lots of items that are we can't view. And then uh, if we go to challenges, you'll see I've got um, most of the field guide pages. I still have a couple in Hogsmeade to find and a couple in the Highlands. Exploration wise, uh, some more magic hotspots that are done. I was going for the Sol 14 Merlin trials, but ran out of... Um, <laughs> Mallow Sweet and couldn't get Mallow Sweet easily. Um, some of these different challenges that have been done. Uh, let's see. No, obviously nothing with quests and just a few combat things. Um, more or less just went around. I'm also going to show the map really quick. Yeah, I also completed a couple more challenges. Uh, done more field guide page hunting. Yep. So more or less, if you look around here, uh, we have gotten every fast travel point of outside of the southern region which technically we can go to now but there's a point in the story that takes you there and uh we wanted that on camera that's true because there's a really really nice cutscene going into that um so yeah we've done a bit of grinding uh off screen um i am level 28 now uh, i am close to level 28 at this point okay let's identify gear so much gear. Yeah, I was right there with you. Um, thankfully, after this episode, we'll be able to do more of the the uh, which moves it's off screen. The yeah. Merlin trials, because I was just completely out of Mallow Suite and didn't feel like buying it. I wasn't doing so much with those as I was finding collection chests. Yeah, I did a lot of that too. Um, gosh, now I have to pages. actually go through my gear and be like, okay, this is what I want to wear because this is better than what I have. Okay, none of the gloves are better than what I've got. Any glasses better? Yes. It also has increased damage dealt to curse targets, which I actually do a fair amount. Nice. I don't use the curses, but what have you. Uh, that's not any better. Any better neckwear? Yes, there is. There is a scarf. I will All not be showing right. the scarf. I think I I'm cannot wear that yet. Ready to go whenever you okay i will be ready momentarily i just have to go through this last section that's uh fair. increased damage with confringo that's a good one for me um not a fan of that look so i'm gonna change out my look a little bit here oh this is like one of my favorite ones i've got so many of, of the different looks now <laughs> um 
I like the gray adventures uh, garb that I've been wearing, but I think I'm going to jump to this uh, legendary armored attire just because it's like one of my favorites. Yeah, it is a good one. With that, I'm going to put on the legendary gloves. Um, there's a legendary cap, isn't there? Uh, I thought so. I may not have it yet. It may be a challenge I haven't finished. I definitely do not have it yet. So it's probably a challenge I have not finished yet, which is fine. I'm not actually that fussed about it. Uh, legendary cape is also like my favorite like cloak item so i'm gonna go like this for a little bit i change my attire like almost every episode so that's fair um yeah i, I think i'm ready to go with deke. all right deke i'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack uh yep i'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack perfect deke loves an outing We can finally go to the store and sell all our items. <laughs> that was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Fair enough. Oh, hi, Puffskeens. Ooh, is that a shiny one? We have arrived. No. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of Puffskeens nearby. A puffle? It will be nice to keep mm -hmm. them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the Puffskeen, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. Knapsack. Oh, it has... There we go. There's the knapsack. Comes an item here. I always use my third slot for this. Now, um, there's multiple ways you can do this. You can either fight them, like, uh, puff skins are actually, like, really easy to get. Um, however, if you're struggling with any of them, you can you use one. spells on them. Um, and I tend to use, uh, Glacius. Glacius on them. Sometimes I'll use Descendo to bring them down to the ground, or Accio to bring them himself. closer to me. I mean, you know. Revelio. Where? Unfortunately, it looks like uh, none of them are shiny for me. Same. I still am annoyed about that shiny test roll that I found <laughs> early in the series. Okay. So, I caught about. a female, so I now need to catch a female. I'm literally just catching them all. I'm not paying attention Fair to enough. what they are. Professor Howard will never believe this. Because eventually Brood and Peck will open and you can sell them off. They're a decent source of, of money. You know what? That's fair. And what uh, Lolian's referencing is you can breed them as well. Um, and you can also sell those off, which for, even right for, for a uh, youngling thing, whatever they're called. Uh, offspring. Offspring, thank you. Even for an offspring, they are worth the same as a, as a grown one. So. There's multiple ways you can go about catching them and then selling them off. There they are. Hi, Deke. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Yep. Poachers Come capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Fair now, enough. not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests more. you next find a beast that can fly. A, a jobbernaut, job perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Oh, Deke has seen safe. poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay, Deke. Where are we going? Of course, you just get to teleport there. I have to... Oh my gosh, that is so far away. There's balloons off in the distance. Making a quick detour for balloons. <laughs> I they honestly just kind of annoy me like the balloons are a fun little thing to have exist but honestly just having them off in the distance kind of just annoys my like this game looks beautiful and then you just see balloons floating <laughs> it's like not how this works they're supposed to be gone Oh yeah, balloons off in the distance. 
probably the same ones I'm popping. Probably. I don't know that we've had much reason to come over in this direction. No, not really. There's not really much over here other than this quest line. Uh, I want the broom upgrades. <laughs> Hi, Deke. You have glasses. Hello, Deke. Should we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you. What with all the poachers in the area. I didn't see a single Perhaps one. I flew we should over. work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Levioso to do it. Interesting. I and don't I think I've ever considered that. Good luck. I definitely Deke will be waiting. All right, what do we got? We got some pretty ones, but I don't see any black and white. Levioso. Oh yeah, that does work on him, don't it? I rescued a Jabernal. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Revelio. Where did the rest of them go? They are. Levioso. Not the one I was aiming for, but it works. There's probably specific spells that work really well on each different type of beast. That probably I just haven't paid attention to because Glacius works on all of Rebellion. them. Revelio. Levioso. Not even the one I was aiming for. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Revelio. Get in the bag. Looks like there's a few more. Oh dear. <laughs> Did not notice there was a cliff there. <laughs> I'll look after you. Get over Either here. of you want to come a little bit closer? No, no, it's get, difficult. get back here. I mean you no harm. Back here. Oh gosh. Levioso. Okay, one more. I have no clue how many I've caught. Oh, it looks like there's two. Have to believe this. Both just hanging out. There. Good. Rebellion. Where does that get me? That might be all of them. I don't see any more, so back to D. I rescued a jobbernal. D culture jobbernal finds the knapsack <laughs> nice and cozy. Right. Poachers a want them for their jobbernal. feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Fair are enough. there any other beasts nearby? Just one that D right. knows of. A herd of moon, moon calves. calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this moon footpath. Calves. Dig will see you there. The derpy little eyes. <laughs> Revelio. Oh yeah, the moon calf den that has a like actual. Hello, Dig. <laughs> is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. I don't so, think, unfortunately, so he says only under the light of the moon. I don't think that applies time, like, throughout the rest of the you game. You might sometimes have to wait until uh, nightfall not really. to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Revelio. Yeah, they make you change the time. Interesting. I don't. If I don't that think does I've, apply, I've never paid attention to it. I don't think I've. Upon them when they're like in the wild. I just remember the ones that you have to save when you go Do save. Right, uh, you? Biscuit the moon. Fair enough. I hear them. I hear them in their cute little squeaks. 
not going to hurt you. That's a tiny. Good for you. <laughs> I almost feel bad using Glacius, but at the same time, it's just so effective. It is. Revelio. I would feel that less bad using like a rest of momentum, but the thing that makes it so utterly effective is the fact that they get knocked over. They have to do their stand-up animation. It's true. Settle yourself, Revelio. So many moon calves. Oh, there's a lot in this area, isn't there? Rebellion. Hey, look, regular uh, animals, <laughs> just deer off in the distance. Okay. There's so many moon calves. That's not the one I wanted. Now, now. I'm only trying to help. Back here. How many more? Three. Four. Rebellion. Three. Same. Places. Couple more. Where'd they go? Rebellio. There you are. Glacius. Not that one. Yeah, I did the same thing earlier. It's like that's not even the one I was aiming for. I'll look after you. Your beast inventory is full. Ah. Uh -huh. No longer. All right, that's fine. I, there's just one left behind. Yep. It'll have to do. Okay, Deke. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Okay. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Back in the room. Hogwarts map, room of requirement. There you mm -hmm. are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens. <laughs> Heavens! Getting bigger. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Just so willingly, just walks into it. Meet you inside when you're ready. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he's like me walking first. I see how it is. I get to be the guinea pig. I see how it is. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Grass 8 to manage beasts. Oh my gosh, so many beasts. Um, let's do... Do a male and female puff skein. No, you're not gonna let me. I can only do one. Oh, fine. Uh, 
Yep, only one at a time for the cutscene. How dare they? This one. There, you get three beasts. Oh, oh. Get three beasties. Mm -hmm. The next one. You would think that the moon cows would like like a very dark. Oh. Yeah. Dick thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. Mm. If right, you gather not... some magical it's materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Oh, I know what that last conjuration <laughs> thing is that I have to buy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's the breeding pen for the beasts. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can actually do that until no. a certain point. Right. You have to wait for the quest. Yeah. Okay, there. guys. Uh, we need to do some grooming and feeding, and I don't have, like, the automatic feed or anything, so you have to do this one by one. I'll move this one back into my inventory since the rest of them seem to be male. This female jobernal and the other moon calf is male. Okay. Deke thinks you are doing good work Earth. here. You know what I mean. <laughs> One of each gender. Yep, I did the same. You have been fed. Pupskin, get back here. Gosh dang it. that everyone it is you've eaten little jobber knoll and you've eaten and you've eaten you're not ready to be interacted with yet all right should be everyone take it um, i'm gonna take a second to collect the collection chests in this area I figure if I do it when I'm introduced to the vivarium, I will not forget which ones I haven't found. I mean, that's a fair enough assessment, I guess. There's there's a lot of people who tried to collect all the collection chests, and then they're left with a handful that they have well, no clue where they are, and it's always the vivariums, it seems. Yeah, it seems like. I know it was for me. I was one more outside of the barbariums, which I think was a, like a butterflies over in a certain area, something like that. Yeah. Because I found these all before, because I've wondered my main playthrough, uh, I do know where all of these are, though. Yeah, I do too. Oh, yeah. This They're kind of like little nice places that you can just kind of get a good look at things. Yeah. There it is. Okay, Deke. What do you have to say? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. Oh, is this when we get First, the... First, you'll need to the use loom. this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing. Okay. Making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, spellcraft for loom, which means I need to change to transfiguration. Utility loom. Mm. 
We go in this little corner. Okay, let's interact with this thing. Okay. Yeah, I know how these work. Okay. Let's view upgrades and just like that. You can get the first upgrade. And ooh, not that. Not that yet. There we go. All my gear is upgraded to the first little bit. Yes, mine as well. And it's been long enough that most of my plants should be ready. I also can change some of these around because I definitely am not like taking advantage of the things on my on my uh, spell. So let's see. Don't use Incendio that much. We get bombarded soon, don't we? Uh, should be soon. It'll be from Professor Howen, and there's also Professor Weasley's spell. That's fine. I think those are the last two that we need, but the last one definitely takes time. We should be getting Bombarda soon, if not this season, then next season. Fair enough. Do Add a um, trait to an item of clothing. I haven't done theory, that. I guess. Um, this already has Confringo, that's fine. Imperio, yeah, see, Imperio I'm not going to use. Still have so many traits that I haven't found. Um, I guess put Bombarda on the hat. It's fine. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I should show Deke, okay. Uh, use the Enchanted Loom, Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Yeah, what he said. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. Sounds good. Okay. Collect rewards in the challenge. You don't say. Okay. Well, we're going to head down and do the Summoner's Court match too. I am a little afraid because it's been a minute since we've done Summoner's Court. <laughs> and I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it either, but we'll see how this goes. The fact that I can't do my, like, like rolling to get away thing that I do. On the Hogwarts grounds is annoying to me. That's fair. I can do it in the vivarium and other places like that. Hello, but... Samantha. Are you oh, here for someone's court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until. Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Oh, we haven't done that quest, have we? Uh, no, it's not going to come available yet. <laughs> That's kind of funny that she mentions it. Accio. Accio. Bye. It's a solid what was I uh, 20 points. She got a solid zero. Oof. Accio. I got a solid zero. Come on, stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling. 50. That was sensational. If she doesn't tap that ball. <laughs> Good luck with that. that ball, I'm dead. That's fine. Got a what a... Yes! 30? <laughs> yeah, 30. Oh, just barely made 50. Akio. That's the second 50. I should be oh, good. She can't beat me unless she knocks one of mine off. Akio. I think I might be able to beat her if I can get at least a 30. Stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling! Go! Dang okay. it. 
Yes! I got a 50 there, but she did not knock me off, so that means I am clear. I won. Cool. So now I just go ah. for the gold. <laughs> I need to no, replay that. No, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> My last one fell You'll off. Have to do better Let's than just that. skip the commentary that and get back to the game. It, then. <laughs> if only I could get 50 at all of them, but whatever. Good enough. It's rough with these, like, whirlpools. A little bit. I'm a little. After your poor I'm okay show with them, honestly. In class, I thought I could beat you. Oh, I forgot I lost. I oh, I guess Natty on this one. <laughs> you played well. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of that luck. Thanks, Pushing Samantha. it a little too close. And there's level up. Oh, so close. I'm so close to level 29. Nice. Okay. Just for my challenges here really quick. Get rid of the thing. So room requirement. Obviously got those. Of course, now I get the ancient magic one, which is like one of my favorites. Even though I don't use ancient magic that much. I don't know. I don't know why I like that one so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, quests. Yep. It's more of the main story. Oh, that's the legendary mask. You get the main story through the the, the main quest. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Honestly, my biggest issue with like the cloaks and stuff is I feel like they've gotten worse since the updates. They and really they have a lot more, and it annoys me. I think I just got a perfect score. Did you? Yep. Sweet. I've redeemed myself. Go back to no cloak for a little bit just because the cloaks honestly because of the the clipping that they do now it annoys me a little bit i must have lost against natty too when you're first getting familiarizing yourself which this was our first time playing the game i that makes sense it's true i think i even lost against her in my main playthrough i think it was one of my other playthroughs that i um did not lose against her okay yeah so we're gonna head to hogsmeade i'm gonna sell off a bunch of stuff <laughs> Me too, which I think there was one piece of clothing that I meant to identify before I left the room requirement, but oh well. Yeah, I'll get it identified later. Yeah. Not like that won't be your last time to the room requirement. Nope. I wouldn't mind it. I just couldn't You're go back. because there was nice a cutscene. to see you again. Okay. You can have that. You can have that. You can have hey, that. Hey, Obi. <laughs> Hey, I heard you wanted some clothes. I've got some clothes for sale. Um, just take everything out of my inventory. I don't want it. <laughs> and these are all legendary items. Yeah, most so. of mine are too. <laughs> Either legendary or extraordinary. That's better than what I'm wearing currently, so we'll keep that one for now. All of, keep that one. You can have the others. Give me four thousand pounds nice and we're good. Or galleons or whatever the fudge. Rebellion. Now, the next quest that we are going to do is going to be right here. Venomous Revenge. Let's see what this guy's angrily muttering about back here. Where is that guy? Uh, there's a staircase behind the three room six. Well, I'll, I'll fix him. Take that. Charm grinder. He's right here. Gotcha. Mr. Barnes. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. You're just proving your point. <laughs> I can see why. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now in large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool, he's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession, a venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Um, Sounds like a crime. Um. 
I, mm, <laughs> I guess I'll do it. Sounds I'll fine. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. It's Marvelous. I know I a mean, fellow secret of justice when I see one. one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Can't I just hand him one that's in my inventory? How, do, I how mean, would he know? I just you need can. That, venomous that is an alternate route that you can take with the quest. I did not know that. I want to head over to Bruden Peck really quick. Find Mr. Lawley's. This must be it. Yes, there, that's the cellar. Let me head over to Bruden Peck because it should be open now. If I can uh, remember where it is. Around. Well, whoop de doo. <laughs> where am I? Around. I get so turned around in Hogsmeade. I know, like I do most too. Most of the rest of the world, no, I'm good. But Hogsmeade, I have to put markers wherever I want to go because I get so utterly lost. Don't pet the cat. Don't pet the cat. <laughs> Rude and fat. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Doric Wolf feather, it doesn't half hurt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. <laughs> Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because hey. we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? He the Moon fur, <laughs> Derekal feathers. Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derekals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Um, sounds frustrating. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The cry in those things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to me <laughs> with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Fair enough. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> Needs more facial Thank you, expression. I will. Take all that, the time like, you need. Yeah, she you does. It feels a little by. uncomfortable. A treat to have you here. Ah, Revelio, you have for sale? Brood and Peck. Proprietor Ellie Peck now, is a fierce protector of beasts, of beasts and will give you a fair price for any beasts in need of a safe home. Brood and Peck is the shop to clients. visit for beast fry you products like flipper feathers and niffler fur. Give me all of the money, 120 a uh, pop. Is it always 120 for like all of them? Yeah, it is. So basically what you're telling me is you should only go and get like I don't mind seeing you here again. the simple Consider ones. Welcome. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, the offspring obviously are like, but outside of that, you can only get like. That seems a little odd, but hello, Mr. Toad. There's also a Niffler in here, another moon calf. Okay, back to where we were, which I guess I should actually follow my compass. Would be helpful. It might be a little bit. Get out of the way. You're worrying far too much. No? I think we ended up going the same way. I glanced over your screen and we were walking past one of the same things. <laughs> okay. okay. Jump over. Back at the place. Into the cellar. Lolly cellar. Oh, can you open back up, please? But yeah, there yeah. was one of my other playthroughs that I didn't feel like going into the cellar. And this must be the cellar. I was How able to, to choose some dialogue options that allowed me to just Lawley give see. him uh just a random venomous tentacula Revenio. there's gold sitting here and it's not letting me pick it up yeah i'm having the same trouble you are 
If I'm gonna be stealing, I'm gonna be ma making it worth my while, don't you know? Oh, don't come over this way. No, you didn't see anything. Oh my gosh. Where is that venomous tentacular? You almost get spotted. Uh, when, I came, <gasps> when I came out of Alohomora, he was standing right there. Revenio. Did you get caught? I did. <laughs> when I came out, out of Alohomora, he was standing right next to me. Oh. Somehow, he did not catch me. Lucky. Oh, I forgot there's spiders in here. Hit a flaming spider to blow it up. Like hit. Go like this. Inside you. Right. You know what? I'll nab the chest on my way. Incendio. So many times. It's a wonder. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Not spell I meant to use on it, but it works. Revelio. Oh my gosh, there's so many spiders. Incendio. I should grab. I can go back. Expelliarmus. Oh my god. Confringo. Give me all the stinking spider fangs. Revelio. Oh, those are common cabbages I can actually have. Cool. Sweet. Venomous Tentacula. Now that I have the Venomous Tentacula, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Okay. Good bring them. Revelio. Okay, moving back to the beginning. Let's see if I can get past Mr. Lolly without getting caught here. Man, you're already back to the beginning? Uh, I mean, this isn't a very big area. I'm still dealing with spiders. Oh, there was a lot of spiders. Good gravy. Why did he just teleport backwards? Revelio. Give me the stinking coins on the wall. I think I'm in and out. Game? Oh, there's a chest up there. Yes, yes, there is. You get it from the Venomous Tentacular Room. Okay, good to know. All right, Mr. Lolly. Completed that error. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let me get this chair. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll Don't take it off your design. hands now. Um. I kind of would like to be paid. <laughs> it wasn't as easy to come by I as I had expected. I committed a crime for you. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. Ah, only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Like I go to Zonko's, man. Thank you again. Why are you for going this way? I suspect you have a bright I don't know. future. Oh, that's Sir. a cool thing, I guess. Dragon hide uh, herbologist gloves. Yeah. Is the the. Um, item I got. That's cool. Collection item I got. Did you extort him for money? I did. <laughs> He's a horrible human being, and I had no qualms about Fair enough. extorting money for him, considering I already did his dirty work. Rebellion. I just know we were fine. What is with your ankles, man? <laughs> Um, there's just a student student sitting here whose ankles like are glowing That's weird I don't even know Places. A 
apparently just casting a spell at him uh, got rid of whatever glow effect was on him. It's fair. There's someone standing next to him now, next to Mr. Uh, Barnes. Revelio. I'm still a couple pages short for Hogsmeade. I don't know where I'm missing them. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is with all the students' ankles? They're all just broken. Obviously. No footage required. All right. Well, I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. Now that my... Where did the sun go? Oh, it's mine. Gotcha. <laughs> that's why it looks all kind of out of focus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please let us know. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.